Hello everyone and thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. You're gonna follow me around this afternoon and I hope that you like it. So I need to run a couple errands and by a couple errands I really just mean like one or two. Um, I wanna go get coffee. It's already the afternoon but I really feel like I need it and I want to go to Trader Joe's and I just thought it would be fun to bring you along to Trader Joe's and maybe do a little grocery haul. Like, really, I just felt like kind of talking to the camera and making this video and lots of other people do grocery hauls. So I was like, hmm, why not? Um, I don't have any particular like dietary needs. I don't have any dietary restrictions really. I'm not on any kind of particular eating plan or anything. So if you're looking for like, certain types of food or certain types of grocery shopping from Trader Joe's. I'm probably not your lady. I'm just gonna be doing some normal stuff. So I'm just gonna you know, show you the goodies that I end up getting. I already have a bunch of produce, so I'm not sure how much more produce I may get. But other than that, I just kinda wanna get just some, some cute stuff from uh, Trader Joe's. Other than that, just very plain day. I hung out with Lola all day, my pug, and her and I just went outside, we enjoyed the sunshine. She peed and pooped, I did not do that outside. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanna show you what I end up getting. Um, if I have any meals in mind that I'll be making certain stuff with, I'll tell you about that. But other than that, it's just kind of like filler stuff. Um, I'm just, if anything, I'm just trying to eat at home more often. Um, you know, it's just, it can be a really big money suck out here in um, California going out to eat. Going out to eat is very expensive. Like even fast food is expensive out here. So if I can have stuff at home, you know, I am more motivated to eat what I have at home and the money that I spent there as opposed to going out and using my money that way. But okay, um, yeah, let's get going. And I don't know if this will be interesting or not, but I hope you'll enjoy. See you in a minute. Or Actually, I'm like one second here on YouTube land. <laughs> this might be a fail because the <laughs> windows are so bright back here. But I just wanted to show you all my outfit real quick. I'm wearing a very plain um, art professor outfit. A little crop top long sleeve from ASOS. Then a very plain, plain skirt from I think Boohoo. It was like $8 or something. If I can find it online, I'll link both of these things. And then my favorite Mark Fisher boots I wear all the time. I'll link those too. And then my beautiful YSL bag um, that I got while I was in New York um, at the last fashion week. This was very much a splurge, not something I can do all the time, but a gift I wanted to get myself for all the hard work I had been doing. And I love her. Um, she has a very fancy clasp. Let me show you. So you push the L and then it's hard to do one handed push the L and then it comes up like this. And then she has like this really beautiful, like dark maroon interior. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all my outfit. Oh, <laughs> I just remembered we're going to Trader Joe's. So I need to grab um, recyclable grocery bags and yeah, let's get on the road. I apologize for the shaky footage. I actually own a camera mount for the car that I bought months ago. Have I ever used it? No, and now that I've moved, couldn't tell you where it is <laughs> but I think I'm also crooked apologies um, and if you hear like road noise and everything but yeah there's been a lot that's been going on in my life um, a lot of very personal things I kind of talked about it for like one second on my Fabletics try on video there's just been some really hard um, personal things that have been going on um, I, I may talk about it one day, um, but I may not. You know, I've been always, always, always very open um, with my life on the internet since 10 years ago, 12 years ago, however long it's been now. But I think as, you know, as I get a little older and have more and more experience on the internet, I realize that it's okay that I keep some things private, even if they are like large things that have happened. Um, I think it's okay, especially when those situations or like those, those things are unresolved, unsettled, you don't know how they're going to end. I don't want to basically, I don't want to talk about a bunch of stuff and then have situations change and then have to explain myself. But you know, I don't know. That's just like a note to y'all. 
whether or not you have much of a presence on the internet or just even in your real life or whatever like you don't owe anybody an explanation unless like you've done something bad to them or something like unless you actually have to you don't you don't owe that to anybody you go first dude thank you oh fun fact about this Starbucks is that it's actually 24 hours like a real standalone Starbucks that is 24 hours a day and it makes me very happy. I have come here at three o'clock in the morning. I've come here at midnight and they're open. I have not seen um, any like this anywhere. I'm sure they exist, but I haven't seen any. Okay, ooh, there's actually nobody in line. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. You too. She was really nice. Uh, okay, does anybody else do this? This is very embarrassing. I have my previous Starbucks still in my uh, <laughs> cup holders. So I need to go to this gas station over here and empty out my uh, cup holders. <laughs> I'm a mess. Kill me. I ended up just buying two reusable bags while I was there. Their bags are so cute. Like, they're just crushed. I would use these as like a tote, just for everyday life. So I ended up buying a lot. Trader Joe's is one of those places where, I wouldn't call it spe- She has not drank water when I'm around, like all day. And of course now she chooses to. So sorry if you hear that um, in the background. It's just a pug um, lapping up some water. Um, it's not necessarily specialty because they have everything you would need, but they definitely have more interesting things, I think, than a lot of grocery stores. So I'm gonna go through stuff with you. Like I said, I have no um, dietary restrictions. I'm not on any specific eating plan or like anything like that. But I would say if there was anything different about the way I eat, I prefer like snacking throughout the day than necessarily like big meals. Um, so I like, I like small bits at a time for sure. So I'm gonna go through everything with you. I'll try to go kind of fast because some of this stuff needs to get in the fridge. I got these everything ciabatta rolls. Um, I am obsessed with the everything but the bagel seasoning or like everything um, bagels, anything like that. I just love the taste of all of the, the blend of spices together. And ciabatta, like I said, I like smaller meals. So one of these, um, either half or the whole thing with some sort of sauce or whatever other stuff I got that I'll show you. Um, basically into like half sandwiches or just like open face sandwiches, something like that. I love these. This is in no particular order. I'm just pulling things out of the, the bag. Okay, I grabbed some shampoo. They do have like body items there. Um, so lots of face items, shampoo, conditioner, things like that. The Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. I love the way it feels. It feels very refreshing and it smells really good. Next up, I got some of their yellow curry sauce. I love yellow Thai curry, um, but I hate onions. And so I want to make my own at home. So I have some potatoes, I have chicken, and then some of of this like simmer sauce on it, I think will be so good. I say that because a lot of, it always has like big chunks of onion in it if you buy it from places. And onion is like my worst enemy. <laughs> Alrighty, I also got some um, masala simmer sauce and I love Indian food. And so I thought this would be really good to make with chicken or just put on rice by itself or something. Do I need more lights in here? Let me look. Aha, we have more lights. Okay, cool. Next up, I grabbed some of their chili and lime tortilla chips. These are delicious. Um, these taste, they're kind of like the same ideas like Takis, but they're not as spicy. Um, I love spicy food, but if I'm just snacking, I don't necessarily want spicy snacks. I don't know, I'm weird. So I have this and I have um, a bunch of avocado, so I'm gonna make some guac or something like that. So these are really yummy. If you go to Trader Joe's, I highly recommend these. I got some almonds, same thing. These are great for snacking. Grab a handful, eat this with maybe a little bit of cheese or some fruit or something like that. So I grabbed these. These were a checkout lane purchase. They, I saw them up at the front and I was like, oh, 
that'd be really good to have around. So I'm excited to try these. Speaking of everything but the bagel seasoning, I did grab their um, bottle of it. I know this is super famous, everybody has this, um, but I'm about out of the bottle that I have, so I wanted to re-up while I was there. And that's something I will put on everything. I put it on chicken for cooking. I put it on um, avocado toast, sprinkle it on eggs, whatever you want to do. It goes with everything savory. Got some Altoids, another purchase at the <laughs> at the checkout lane. Um, and I thought the little tin was good for all the small bags that I carry. Another seasoning, I got onion salt. My like repulsion with onions, like I always do like the karate move. Um, <laughs> when I talk about onions because I hate them so much. The repulsion is not the taste. It's the strange texture. It's like the texture mixed with like the sharpness of it. But if onions are cooked into things and I can't like physically taste a raw onion, I'm fine. So I figured this would be great for cooking, things like that. And this comes highly recommended from a bunch of people's um, like Trader Joe's haul. I needed some black pepper. I realized while I was standing there that I had the flashback to a few days ago whenever I was cooking and I had no black pepper and it made me very sad. Pepper is one of my other favorite seasonings. I know that sounds really lame, but I love it and I use it a lot. I even put it on things down to like salad. I love, I love pepper. I grabbed some honey. I will be the first one to admit I don't necessarily know the differences between all the honeys. They had so many different kinds. Um, but this is the multi-floral and clover honey. And it says collected from bees foraging a variety of nectars and pollen. Um, and it comes from the northern United States. So I don't think I know the difference in the taste, but I'm really excited um, to have honey in the house. I have missed it, um, especially for things like teas or on yogurt, things like that. Okay, let me get some refrigerated stuff out of the way. Um, I grabbed some pepperoni. This sounded really good. It is the Volpe Gourmet Pepperoni. Um, like I said, with those little ciabattas, I think having one of those like open face with a little bit of cheese or some sort of other like um, dips or spreads I'll show you that I got with a couple pepperonis would be really yummy. And same thing with this. This is everything but the bagel seasoned uh, smoked salmon. I think that sounds so good. I would have put everything but the bagel seasoning on um, smoked salmon anyway. So having it together sounded yummy. I got, speaking of salmon, I got some frozen salmon. This will be enough for probably about three or four meals for me. So I can kind of meal prep with it for a few days. And it is um, deboned and skinless. So this whole thing was less than $10. And like I said, I can make several meals out of it. But let me get these in the fridge. Alrighty, next up I see I grabbed some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts so much. It's so strange to me that as a kid, when you're a kid, like the worst thing you can think about eating are Brussels sprouts. And now as an adult, I love them so much. I like them forever. But I just think that's really funny. These are shaved and so I prefer that I cut them up when I cook them anyway I don't just, I don't ever cook them whole um, so this is gonna be really yummy and I got some cheeses I'll show you to kind of put on there and roast them I got Lola some dog treats um, I've already opened one and given it to her because she was really good on her walk um, earlier today so these are turkey and pumpkin jerky and she seemed to really like it she grabbed onto it immediately and started ch like chowing down so Turkey and pumpkin. I don't think she's ever had um, that treat before. I got some salad dressing. This is the Trader Joe's Green Goddess. I saw this in somebody's video and it sounded really good. It has avocado, green onion, cold pressed lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. That sounds really fresh and aromatic, so I'm excited to use that on some salad. Um, I have bought that before. I have some left over in the fridge, so I have like um, some romaine and some spinach left. I got some cheese. I got some sliced Munster. I don't necessarily have like a favorite cheese. I kind of cycle between different cheddars or Colby Jacks. Um, they had Havarti, but it was the light Havarti. I don't know why. I just didn't want to try that one. So I grabbed Munster this time. Same thing. Go on that ciabatta bread that I got, and um, I think that'll be really yummy. I got some Greek olives. Fun fact about me, olives are one of my favorite food, especially Greek olives. Um, growing up Arab, I would like frequently have barrels, like mini barrels of olives in my house that my dad would get from the Greek grocery store that we had nearby. Um, so olives went on everything and we used it just as a snack and that has definitely followed me into my adulthood. Along the olive train, I got some olive tamponade. So tamponade, 
I always do that. Tapenade, not tomponade. So olive um, tapenade. So basically it's like cut up olives. I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but I don't know if you really need me to focus on um, olives. <laughs> It's basically like minced, like crushed up olives and like little bits of olive oil, things like that. So that's gonna be really good to go on some sandwiches or bagels, things like that. I'm stoked about this, some tangerine juice. This sounded really, really good. I think it'll be a little more tart than orange juice. So I don't know if I've had tangerine juice from Trader Joe's, but I'm really excited to have it in my house. That sounds yummy back on my everything but the bagel um <laughs> streak this is everything but the bagel like um greek style yogurt dip that sounded really good so this as well as used as a dip or spread on something i'm really excited to try that i have never tried that i don't think i've even ever seen it there so stoked to use it i got some multi-grain crackers just to use with the um yogurt dip or the top knot or whatever or um guacamole if I make it or something like that. So that would be yummy. I got some fruit. I grabbed some raspberries. I grabbed some watermelon. Watermelon's not quite in season yet. I know it's a summer fruit. So this was expensive. This was over $3, but I was really craving it. It sounds very refreshing. And so I, I bucked up and uh, paid the money for it because I was really, really wanting it. Got some blackberries. So I thought these would be really yummy, um, like the raspberries, the blackberries, kind of mixed in with, um, and I have strawberries. So either smoothies or on yogurts um, or in salad. And I actually, at my friend Ashley's house the other night, had like fruit in my salad for the first time. I had strawberries in it. I know it's a thing, I just never had it before. Um, and it was really, really good. It was really good. Speaking of the cheese for the um, Brussels sprouts, I got some shaved Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. They had just Parmesan, but I thought the blend would be yummy. So it comes with, has like the um, Parmesan petals and then the ground up other cheeses. Here's another thing about me. I love soup. Like soup and salad are like my favorite foods. Um, and I grabbed some of their soups. So this is the butternut squash. Also not something I thought I would love until I had it at Panera a few years ago. I think it was like a seasonal soup at the time and I loved it. It was so like cozy in my body. So <laughs> I, I have been obsessed with it ever since. And then some of their um, creamy tomato soup. I'll either eat this by itself or maybe make a sandwich, like a grilled cheese to dip with it or something. And so I saw that and I was like, yeah, I want that. And then I got some tomatoes. Now I'll be honest, I love tomatoes. I will eat these. I'm so excited to have these heirloom tomatoes. But I mostly got this because I was absolutely like, floored at the size of one of them and so I could not wait to get it home and inspect it further <laughs> you guys this is the biggest tomato I've ever seen in my life oh my gosh um like I said tomatoes I love them I love them they're actually one of my favorite I guess they're technically fruits if you want to get specific um but I love them on everything on sandwiches by themselves I could absolutely see me slicing some up and putting like everything but the bagel seasoning on it and eating them by themselves. I love tomatoes. But y'all, what the heck? <laughs> Look, it's like almost as big as my friggin' face. This is so big and I bet, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so yummy. Oh my gosh. Now this is so big that I don't think I would wanna necessarily cut it up and then I don't know how well it would keep just being sliced. So I may try to find like some sort of salsa recipe or like um, like spaghetti sauce recipe or something I can make with the entire thing so that I don't waste any of it. Uh, but oh, they are so fragrant. I'm so stoked to have these. And this big thing, like it came with, hold on, let me show you. This big old thing of heirloom tomatoes was like less than $3. I was like, heck yeah. This food, especially the stuff that is shelf stable, will last me so long. So I'm really excited for everything I got. Um, I necessarily, like I said, didn't grab stuff for full meals just because that's not something I necessarily like 
eating. I just really, really love snacking or having small things throughout the day. But like the salmon and Brussels sprouts, I'll probably eat together or something like that. But yeah, I hope you liked this Trader Joe's slash like, oop like mini haul. It was so busy in the store. I wanted to like take y'all around because I know a lot of the country doesn't have Trader Joe's and it's like a very um, interesting grocery store for a lot of people. But yeah, it was so busy that it was hard to get around the store. So I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable with like holding the camera up. I got some grocery cart footage, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for coming along with me today. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. And then for dinner tonight, I'm probably gonna make one of those little like ciabatta rolls, probably have some of the salmon on it and probably some of the yogurt dip. So I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff in the fridge. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.